we work with dancers and we don't let them touch the floor. <laughs> we train them on how to do things up in the air. Our company is called Strings Attached. We've been doing this for maybe 15 years. I think we became really curious about extending the reach of our dance and movement practice and we wanted to fly and, and be able to leap across the space. So coming down over the glass is a very much a sense of emerging to be able to see and connect with the people, you know, this idea of no place in the gallery, but yet here I am and I'm on display. Emerging down into the glass rooftop very much feels like an aquarium. Am I in the aquarium or is the audience in the aquarium? I particularly loved being able to slide down and be front on to the audience, that opportunity to connect through the glass, which really takes me back in my mind to the COVID crisis and how we were able to connect through glass, but we had to keep distance. In pieces like these, we don't necessarily anchor onto a narrative and we just work with the texture, the sensation, the feelings that come from interacting with the environment, with gravity in a completely different way. It doesn't have to mean anything, right? But then meaning comes in from realizing that, that people are observing you, that they respond to what you do. And For me, the pleasure of flight, it really creates that joyful feeling of connecting back with your child. It, it suspends that disbelief of what's possible. It's really nice to see how the sensitivity of the curators have organized the, the, the space and the flow of the performances. Uh, what a beautiful contrast uh, with the other work in the, in the gallery and to be able to see the impermanence of the live performance that can never be repeated exactly the same versus the permanence of these other works that are constantly offering the same vision or idea. Mm -hmm.